Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share you some good news that DevOps market is back to normal. But this news is only for people in India. Yes, for now, the market is back to normal only in India for regions like US, Canada, Europe, UK and other parts like Australia, the market is still not back to normal. I'm hoping and I wholeheartedly feel that the market comes back normal very soon. But for now, it's not certain how much more time that it's going to take. So subscribers, aspirants in India, it's a very good news to cherish. And what you need to do at this point of time is follow the do's that I'm going to share in this video and also take a look at the don'ts that I'm going to share this video. So before I go there, you might be thinking that Abhishek, how do you know or how can you confirm that the market is back to normal? Let me tell you, on a daily basis, I talk to a lot of recruiters. I talk to people who approach me on top mate. Many people share the information on LinkedIn that they got DevOps jobs. They tag me and they message me on LinkedIn. So I keep talking to all of them and I ask them, Okay, how many number of calls are you getting on a daily basis or how many calls are getting converted from the recruiters to the technical panel? What exactly are the steps that are, they are following to get this job opportunities? So by collecting all this information, I can confirm that market is back to normal. And another good news is it's going to be at its peak the next coming days. That means it's even more, I mean, it's going to improve even further in the next coming days for DevOps and cloud aspirants. So during this time, make the fullest of it. Because in the last couple of months or, you know, in last six months, we have seen how uncertain market is. During the COVID time, the market has gone to its peaks and then market crash. So when the market is at its peak, that's the time when you have to make the full use of it. So that's why watch the video till the end and see what are the do's and don'ts that I'm going to share in this video. First of all, let me share the do's that you have to do at this point of time. There are three things that I'm going to suggest you. The first thing is apply to the jobs depending upon the job description. That means if the job description has Terraform, Kubernetes and Ansible, let's say as the primary skills, update your resume and in your resume, reflect these things as your primary skills. Do not take one resume and keep applying it everywhere. So it's like you're blindly closing your eyes and hitting everywhere. It does not take you anywhere. So simply go to the job, look at the job description, see what are they expecting and send that resume, update your resume in that way and send it to the recruiters. Then you will definitely get a call back from the recruiter and Depending upon how you convey the recruiter, your experience, the tools that you have worked on, there is a very good chance that these calls will be converted to the technical panel as well. I mean the technical rounds as well. And the second important thing. The second important thing is that during this time, you have to allocate a particular amount of time only for the theory and practical learnings. That means to say, you can say that, okay, uh, today I'm going to learn the theory part for a couple of hours and next day I'll be doing the practical. Do not mix up the things because when the market is good, definitely you have to study, you have to keep improving your learnings, but at the same time, you have to give good amount of time for applying jobs and for giving the interviews as well, right? So segregate your time, say that couple of hours, I'm going to work on theory and practical learning. And couple of hours, I'm going to spend myself in giving the interviews. Let's say there is no interview scheduled for you today. What you can do is you can come up with sample interview questions from your experience, from LinkedIn, from ChatGPT and do mock interviews by yourself, right? So use the time efficiently. Let's say you have four hours of your time after your work or, you know, you just have four hours uh, on a daily basis for this DevOps learnings. So say that two hours, I'm going to split it for theory and practical and two hours, I'm going to do mock interviews by myself or I'm going to watch mock interviews on YouTube and you know, I'll improve my way of answering questions. It is very important to structure your answers and present yourself. Let's say I'm expert in Kubernetes, but if I don't know how to present the answers, then the other person will not receive my answers in a proper way. Right? He will not understand. He cannot go into my mind and understand what I know. 
he will only understand by the way i communicate so that's why split your time into two parts if you have 3 hours take one and a half hour for your theory next day you can spend that one and a half hour in practical but one and a half hour definitely give it for your interview preparation and the third point now third point is also very very important and here what you need to do is in the third point referrals so the third point is referrals that means go to the linkedin try to find out the company by yourself okay so these company has these openings and along with your effort going through the portal and applying by yourself or talking to the recruiters sending the emails to the recruiters the other thing that you have to do is find out the referrals in linkedin these days everybody uh, put their company profile so even in your profile or in your friends of friends profiles you will find some people who are working in that companies so approach the people ask them can you please uh, take this resume and apply for this specific position and they will definitely help you okay maybe if you ask 10 people only two or three people might do it but still that's fine there is a very good chance that your profile goes to the technical panel if it goes through the referrals so try to work on your referrals that's where your linkedin networking comes into picture okay so all these days people have been active on linkedin i've seen many people you know keep posting uh, their work in the uh, linkedin about uh, devops and cloud day to day basis what they have been doing so at this point of time make the fullest use of your linkedin, uh, linkedin networking so approach people share them your resumes and tell them that okay i want to apply for this position and yeah there are good people out there so you will definitely get this so follow these three principles as the do's so first principle that i've told you is find out offers opportunities on linkedin and send the resume according to the job description second thing that you will do is spend your time very wisely split the time into two parts go for theory and practical for half of the time that you have and other half you have to spend on improving your answers structure your answers do mock interviews by yourself or watch mock interviews and the third thing is go with the linkedin networking so the number of referrals the number of people that you approach on linkedin and ask them to apply for the jobs there is good amount of opportunity i mean it's a straight curve that number of people that you approach the number of uh interviews that you can get okay so this is the do's uh, that i have for you now coming to the don'ts so the one thing that i'll recommend you not to do is do not blindly apply for each and everything that you see that will only waste your time right so you might be thinking that uh, abhishek i'm getting 100 calls a week because i've been applying 1000 uh, profiles or uh, you know i i apply whatever i see on my uh, linkedin and i just send my resume to them and uh, i'm getting the calls from recruiters but that will only waste your time let's say you have 4 hours of time every day and if people keep on calling you asking all the details and finally you will come to know that okay uh, it does not match your profile so it does not convert to a technical interview round so you have wasted your time right so instead of wasting your time by blindly sending it to all the places whatever you find it on linkedin nowkri and everywhere so choose wisely and do not apply for each and every job that you see and also if some recruiter calls you and you know if they ask you for okay uh, we have this opening uh, for now so if you don't know that topic or if let's say someone has called you for kubernetes security and you don't know anything about kubernetes security although it's a devops job but it is specialized in security so do not go for it tell them that okay uh, right now i don't have this experience in kubernetes security this is my resume these are my skills please let me know if you have anything in this position right so when the market is good please do this let's say the market is not good then at least it makes sense that you apply for each and everything or you accept everything that's coming at you but when it is good do not do that so these are the do's three do's that i have and one don't so rest all it's how much hard work that you put during this time do the hard work do the smart work follow the videos go with the good content that you have and if you have taken any paid courses approach them tell them that okay right now the market is good so can you please explain me the strategy that i have to follow or else design your own strategy so this is the video for now and uh, i hope you find this video informative and you are all happy that the market is back to normal but do not waste your time thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one Take care, everyone. Bye.